Boom! What's up, everybody? You're watching Spaceman Reviews. And yes, you are not seeing things. You are seeing the classified uh, Cobra Commander. The classic Cobra Commander. Um, yeah, which will be the only ever HasLab project I will ever own. Yes, I got it without the his tank. We'll get into that, but first, if you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't miss any more videos. I got the review for the Cobra Snake Armor, uh, and you don't want to miss that. I'm going to be downloading that, too. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, this guy that I scored this from kind of had no idea uh, what he had. So I got this on a really good deal. Uh, so I guess I didn't have to wait until the official release, but I'll probably get the official release as well. I got a weak spot for the Cobra Commander, the guy in blue. But uh, yeah, it's not your, now as you can see with the, the card art, is not the, the basic uh, vintage card art. Uh, but maybe uh, the next release they'll have the vintage card art. As you can see up here, his accessories. Uh, kind of like uh, the original, uh, you know, Ultimates Cobra Commander. That's right. We didn't forget you. There you are. There you are. The back in blue. Uh, yeah. So, got multiple hands for pointing, for grabbing, for, for a fist. Uh, he's got his traditional uh, blaster as the original toy would. And yes, this is how... This is based on the original toy, where this guy here is based on the cartoon. So you can see his uh, Cobra symbol is a little bigger. Uh, he got the belt. But before we get into uh, that, let's take a look at the let's take a look at the back of the card art. So here we go, and there you got the file card. There you got Haslab, the Cobra symbol. Uh, not your typical. Uh, you know, retro card, because here's a typical retro card. Here you got G.I. Joe. You got the, the the card clip here, the specs, the file card that is. And then you got down below the other figures in the set, which I got Storm Shadow, which uh, I do just got the Crimson Guard, and I got Snake Eyes. I don't have Zartan yet, but as you can see here, I got the, the Crimson Guard. I just scored him. What a day. What a G.I. Joe freaking day. But enough about him. This is about this guy. So let's uh, let's break him out and uh, let's do some comparisons and let's see what's going on. So here he is out of his, uh, out of his packaging. Uh, standing uh, six inches for your regular classified figures. Uh, if we were to put uh, this guy up against here, uh, as you can see, he'll square away with your other classified figures because he, is, too, is a classified uh, figure. Uh, here's ex his accessories. Excuse me. Sorry for the... It's kind of like watching his video when you're drunk. There you go. Nice, good, shiny gold... Uh, over there with wrapped around the world because that's what he wants to do is take over the world multiple hand gestures that you can use he's got his cobra knife that can go into his uh into his sheath uh and we turn this figure over because this is based on the toy so there he has a blue backpack uh holster for his uh, G1 uh, Blaster Generation 1. It's almost like Transformers. Uh, yeah. Sorry for the camera being blurred. These cameras really suck. Try to... There we go. A little bit clear. Woo! There we go. Uh, he doesn't have the silver on his helmet. It's just basic blue. Kind of like, I guess, the original toy. Because this is what he's based on. And like the original toy, he's got the red striping on his his uh, his legs or his pants. Kind of like Han Solo. 
Yeah. Nice, good details. As you can see, we're not going to get into the articulation. He's basically got all the same articulation as your G.I. Joe classifieds. So he's gonna he's gonna have very nice posability back here. Yeah. Uh, the sad part is with this downfall is that he doesn't come with a cobra base as your you know your standard. Uh, as you can see here, he comes with a cobra base, but for the cobra commander, it doesn't come with the base. So maybe the new retro card co official release cobra commander without the his tank will come with the base. Um, yeah. Hasbro, let's start packaging uh, bases with all the, these figures, where if they come in boxes or retro card, uh, it really helps. So uh, let's compare him, let's say, to the uh, Ultimates Cobra Commander. Boom. Uh, Ultimates Cobra Commander is slightly taller, like I said, for multiple reasons. Uh, for first, copyright reasons, legal reasons, because Hasbro is the creator of that of the GI Joe brand so yeah for legal reasons uh, secondly uh, well because he is based on the cartoon whereas the classified Cobra commander well he's based on the 82 toy so you kind of get the best of both worlds the blues are almost uh, spot on uh, where he has a blue uh, shirt Cobra Commander has a black uh, button-up shirt with uh, the Commander uh, pins on his on his collar. Yeah, beautiful figure. Where he has buttons painted over here, this guy doesn't. Uh, as you can see, where he has red striping on his leg, uh, this Cobra Commander uh, does not, because he probably didn't have it in the cartoon. And Ultimates does a very, Super 7 does a very good job in depicting the cartoon. You can see here, like the the classified toy. This too also comes with the Cobra. Sorry, let's uh, let's zoom in here. With the with the wrapped around the Earth. Sorry, it's in the plastic. I just take out basic accessories. There we go. But yeah, here he's got the cape. He's got an alternate head that does not have the silver uh, or the gray stripe on the top of the helmet. And of course, multiple hands and accessories from from the cartoon. There's his uh, original blaster, but more based towards the cartoon. Sorry, get the zoom in there. We're gonna get this, people. We're gonna get through this. I promise. Let me zoom. These cameras are horrible. They don't do any justice. There we go. Can you see it? There you go. Multiple accessories that you would see from the show. There we go. Yeah. Now back to uh, the classified. Um, yeah. Now I know I said I was going to wait for the official release, but since I was able to square a deal and get this guy at a really good price, I, I paid like 42 bucks for this guy. Which isn't bad, because he basically would be the price of the Ultimates Cobra Commander that I scored for only 27 So really, in some weird way, it just kind of works out. I paid the ultimate price for the ultimate's price for the classified figure, and I paid the classified figure price for the ultimate's Cobra Commander. It's just kind of weird. Sometimes it's just how life works out. Um, now, an array from one to five, I'm going to give this Cobra Commander a four and a half. Why? Because the original Cobra Commander had a molded holster onto his back. I'm not very uh, fond of these uh, these plug-in, uh, pagan uh, backpacks and holsters. It would have been nice for it to have been like, able to snap the blaster onto his back. So that little attention to detail uh, just kind of missed, I guess. Uh, secondly, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't come with the base. His accessories are nice, nicely detailed. 
but Hasbro needs to give us the basis for these figures. Because some trying to stand some of these figures up without the basis is a it's it's a pain in the ass. I ain't gonna lie. But overall, he is a nice figure. Glad I didn't have to get the the his tank. Not that the his tank is is stupid. It, it's a nice size his tank. Just know where to put it. So here this guy had had this Cobra Commander for sale. It was a tier to sell the Cobra his. Uh, tank and uh, it was the only thing of interest that that I wanted I mean come on we all wanted the Cobra Commander we all wanted the classified Cobra Commander Hasbro screwed up with this guy big time in his first release and made him look like a pirate so I think uh, I think Hasbro did really good with this release now they need to do an official release so we can get this out on the market and let the collectors have their their loot for the Cobra Commander. Uh, this is my favorite version of the Cobra Commander. It'd have been nice also if we would have got an extra head that would have been hooded Cobra Commander. But dude, the lefties are crying about the hood looks racist. He looks like a KKK. Well, I'm pretty sure a KKK don't wear blue hoods. They wear white ones and pointy ones. Uh, the Cobra Commander is basically wearing a rag over his head. Okay. But uh, yeah, it would have been nice to have that that extra head with the hood hoodie on it. But uh, who knows? Maybe the official release. Maybe we'll get one. But uh, anyway, people, that's the video. Let me know what you think. Uh, are you ready for the official release of the Cobra Commander? Which is, I feel, is kind of a stupid question. Of course you are. Um, anyway, what you think? Uh, right next to the uh, the Ultimates Cobra Commander and. Uh, the regular Cobra Commander. Anyway, be safe, stay safe, happy coll uh, collecting and knowing, well, is half the battle. Good night.